Thursday night after Ivanka Trump walked on stage to the Beatles' Here Comes the Sun, George Harrison's estate tweeted, The unauthorized use of hashtag Here Comes the Sun at the hashtag RNC in Klee is offensive and against the wishes of the George Harrison estate. Harrison wrote the song. The families and estates of George Harrison and opera singer Luciano Pavarotti are the latest to come out against the Trump campaign using their work. <laughs> According to NBC, Pavarotti's wife and daughters asked the campaign to quit playing an aria the tenor performed. They reportedly wrote in a letter, The values of brotherhood and solidarity that Luciano Pavarotti upheld throughout his artistic career are incompatible with the world vision of the candidate Donald Trump. Other artists, including Adele and the Rolling Stones, have also asked the campaign to stop using their work. The dropkick Murphys told Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker, We literally hate you when he tried to use their music last year. Ouch. Barracuda. In 2008, Hart told the McCain-Palin campaign to stop playing Barracuda. That same year, R&B singer Sam Moore asked Barack Obama to quit using the Sam and Dave song, Hold On, I'm Coming. Republicans seem to have a harder time finding music to play than Democrats. Before this latest round of objections, 538 reported there have been 30 instances of artists objecting to presidential candidates' use of their music since 1984, when Ronald Reagan used a Bruce Springsteen song only two involved Democrats. As for whether any of these artists have a case in court, a copyright expert told NPR, not really, but that's also not the point. The optics of it are so bad that there's really not much point in continuing to use a, a piece of music when the musicians really don't want you to. For Newsy, I'm Lauren Stevenson.